just doing a short video on my container, um, where to get it from, all the costs associated with it and the pad as well and I'll run through what to look for on a container. Now this pad, the pad is just what we call in Australia road base, you can get, it's used for dirt roads, big chunks you get fine stuff. The stuff I've got is a big mix because it is second grade, it's not top quality, second grade, but I also, I got it from where I work and I bought it in by truck with, by myself, so um, I think it cost me about $150 for the, all the gravel on the whole pad, it's one truckload. Now we have to do that here because if you look at the ground it's all black, black mud, so everything will actually sink into the ground. And I spread it by hand too because it saves a lot of money. If you've got someone in with a bobcat or some sort of tractor to come and level it, it costs you hundreds of dollars. So, I mean, three or four hours spreading it by hand isn't much. Now concerning the container itself, you can always get different kinds of conditions, different qualities. It's obviously, the, the better it is, the more it's going to cost. Now... This is an average one, it's not too bad. Um, I'll show you what to look for in a minute. Um, it costed me $2,700 for this one. Now, I could have got worse quality for, you know, a couple of thousand dollars, but I went, I went a little bit better because I wanted it to last for some time. So it was $2,700 plus about $100. 80, 150 or 180 for freight. The 20 foot containers like this one is just goes on a tilt tray, so they can just slide it on, slide it off. Whereas if you were going for 40 foot, I would, you would have to get a big, bigger truck and you would have to get a crane to lift it as well. Okay, so now I'll just do a quick run through on some of the things to look for in the container. You're always going to get scratches and ding marks all over the container. It doesn't matter what condition. Some are going to have a lot more than others. Um, mine does have a few in it, but overall it's not too bad. You know, there's just a few little things. So that's one thing to look for. You know, if you if you don't have a, if you have a choice to choose from, which I did, you know, you can spend time and look over to find the better ones. You can see in this side it's got quite a lot of scratches. But that's just paint scratches. See, there's actually deeper scratches here. That's look for rust. Now here, it's you know that's just a bit of surface rust. That's nothing. You know that that can that can be just given a quick clean up and painted. I haven't really seen any major rust. Here's another one to look for. It's not too bad here because it's just a dint from inside. But you can see the paint starting to flake and a bit of rust starting underneath. So that's a spot to watch out for. And here's another one. It isn't, isn't, isn't only minor, they can be cleaned up and dealt with. But I'm not worrying about that one because the door, you can see the cut for the door, the door's going right there. Another thing to look for is look for repair patches. See that's, that's a repair patch. It also goes all the way into the chassis. Now obviously somehow this has been badly damaged, like something went through it maybe and punched a big hole through it. Possibly. So. This is the only repair patch I've got, but my door, it's in the door, so I'm not too worried. It's going, it's getting cut out anyways. You will find paint patches everywhere, but that's just them touching up spots. Um, make sure you always go around and have a good look everywhere for, for rust spots. See, here's... No, it's not too bad either. It's not really starting to rust, but it will eventually. But the thing is, unless you go brand new, you're not going to get a perfect container. The other spot to look for is the roof. The roof often has rusty spots. Um, I have a couple of little spots on my roof. And another spot to look for is around your door, around your trims on your door. Um, there's just a little light surface bit there, but other than this is solid. I've seen some that are completely rusted out. The place I bought this container from actually told me where to look, where to look for rust as well, um, especially around these, these main chassis trims. 
but this one's actually doesn't really have any rust. Um, inside you've got all these paint scrapes too, but that's just scratched off paint can be replaced. Another thing to look for is these joints. See, this is a different colour um, that has been repaired at some stage. Um, that the repair there, which has got a little bit of rust on the joint on top, so I'll have to treat that as well. But overall, it's actually a pretty good container. And I've still got a, another big pile of gravel here. Still part of the same truck, which will should go under here. And one last thing is, make sure your door's shut. My door doesn't quite shut properly. My door doesn't quite shut properly. For some reason. Only at the top though, so I think the something's bent up there, so I'm going to have to fix that. One thing I did not check. And also on here there should be a date somewhere. This is 2004, 13 year old container. Well, thanks for watching, I just hope this will help you out in making your decisions for your container in the future.